One had a clear start in race four, with the Bulgarians taking the lead at the weather mark. Portugal and Czech Republic followed close behind. At the gate, Bulgaria went around clean, but Portugal dropped the kite in the water, acting as a floating anchor. Portugal managed to take the lead during the second upwind leg to go around the windward mark first and winning their first race of the series. Congratulations guys, taking the win on race number four. Turkey took second place, followed by Bulgaria and Czech Republic. Race four of the second fleet saw a good start for Peru, followed by Chile. Uruguay bearing away just behind Chile, making them fight for their position. Peru expanding their lead during the first downwind leg Peru had some troubles at the downwind mark, but managed to keep their lead until the end. The battle was on during the second downwind between Chile and Uruguay, but in the end, the outcome stayed the same. Race 5 of Fleet 2 saw a dramatic start. Where Chile and Venezuela collided. Venezuela ended up getting the penalty and had to circle around for repair. And from that point on, it was game over. Peru led again at the weather mark, followed closely by Chile. And the battle between these two teams would last until Chile was pushed to the limits and had a spinnaker sheet issue that handed the win to Peru, giving them their second bullet of the day. After a hearing on shore, Chile received two penalty points for the collision at the start with Venezuela. That penalty dropped them down to third overall. Peru is in the lead with the same amount of points as Uruguay and Chile, and Venezuela is fourth. I think that everything worked, and we all worked very good as a team, because each one knows their positions very well, so they trusted each other and trusted themselves also. The last race of the day was race five of Fleet One, and three of the teams were equal in points at this time, making it anyone's game to win. Bulgaria won the start and made it first to the windward mark, giving them a 140 meters lead, which they would keep to the end. Turkey and Portugal fought head to head just to keep themselves in the race for the overall standing and positioning for the golden day. Bulgaria stayed out in front. Portugal finished second, followed by Turkey, and Czech Republic last for the second time of the day. Even with this disappointing day, the Czech Republic are still leading the overall, tied for points with Bulgaria. Portugal, Turkey are still in the race with only one points difference. Yeah, uh, well, it's super tight. Like it's two points for a difference for the whole group. So literally anything can happen with one race that's double point. So uh, we will just have to do our best. We still have a great team and we will recover from today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow at 10 for the last race of these qualifying series where anyone can win their ticket for the final series in Bahrain. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start.